Welcome to the Bottom Line Broadcast. I'm your host today, Connor O'Brien. With midterms going on, this week we ask students their habits during the stressful time of the quarter. We go to James. Everybody has a different way of coping with midterms. We came out here to ask some students their experience. Hi, I'm Carlin. I'm a sociology major, third year. Um, in my three years of UCSB experience, I would say the most midterm habit experience I've seen thus far is the amount of yerba mates I see throughout the library. I've seen people do coke and study. I'm Megan Sprinkles. I'm a second year comm major. I saw a bunch of people bringing like blankets and got like huge Taco Bell like foods everywhere. Yeah. I would say non-stop just getting caffeine non-stop all day just like waking up getting a coffee uh, for lunch getting a yerba mate then like 11 12 o'clock at night getting another source of caffeine just non-stop. I don't know about ridiculous and I don't know about study habits but it was really funny I went to the third floor and there was like everybody sleeping in there. People like shotgun these before. Chilla Vista, the annual music and arts festival took place last Saturday. This year, IVCRC, the Isla Vista Community Relations Committee, collaborated with Blue Knight to fill the all-day event with plenty of live music and activities. This is Chilla Vista, Light the Night 2017. All right, and we are at Chula Vista. X Light the Night. X Light the Night. All right. And what is X Light the Night? Well, so it's Chula Vista X Light the Night. So we teamed up with Chula Vista to have an all-day event of Isla Vista Love. So the earlier part of the day was IVCRC's event Chula Vista, and now you are a part of Light the Night, which is Blue Night's event. It's um, the second year we're doing it. It's kind of a nighttime light carnival that's meant to bring all aspects of the community together and really celebrate how far we've come as a community and bring a positive spin to the month of May for us. Well, we're a nonprofit organization that uh, dedicates all our work to ocean conservation. So we have different activities here that you guys can check out. We have different info on how to get your own reusable cups instead of solo cups. So what do you do with the Coastal Fund? So the Coastal Fund is an organization on campus through associated students that funds projects related to coastal preservation, restoration, education, research, and access. So uh, Boom is a UCSB uh, student-founded app, and our goal is to show you, really show you, everything that's going on around IV. So it's photos and videos from everyone in your local area. On May 1st, a 49-year-old man by the name of Peter Sellis opened fire at the La Jolla Crossroads apartment complex in San Diego. This apartment complex is home to several UCSD students, some of whom were present. Seven people were injured and one death resulted. The victims were four women and three men. One of the women succumbed to her wounds. At this time, we at the bottom line would like to extend our solidarity to our fellow Tritons as we remember our own tragedy here at UCSB. This event is still under investigation, but if you would like to follow the story, look to UCSD's publications, The Triton and The Guardian. The link will be below. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found these segments informative and anticipate more to come. My name is Connor O'Brien, and this is The Bottom Line.